This is the first time that we observed a wild great ape using um, a plant, a potent medical plant, in order to treat his wounds. Yeah, you heard that right. That's a cognitive biologist with the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior. And she's talking about this. A new study published in Scientific Reports. Active self-treatment of a facial wound with a biologically active plant by a male Sumatran orangutan. Or in English, or at least non-biologist, an ape chewed on a leaf and stuck it to its face as though it were a band-aid. He was observed feeding on this plant for 13 minutes. And then he continued chewing but stopped swallowing and put the plant sap from his mouth precisely onto the wound. So our biologist here was the lead author of this study, which was based on behavior recorded in 2022 after it's believed our adult male orangutan here got involved in some sort of altercation with another animal. Who knows what started that fight? Maybe Conor McGregor egged him on or something. But either way, after it went down and our orangutan here was injured, the animal began to treat its own wound. And he repeated this behavior for seven minutes. So over and over, he put plant sap onto the wound. And then later, he also took the more solid plant matter from his mouth and put it on top of his wound, fully covering the wound. Now in previous research, scientists have recorded instances of other primates foraging for medicines in forests and treating themselves with plants. Everything from swallowing leaves to get rid of parasites, to chewing on plants to soothe their stomachs. For all we know, all those damn Koroks in the Zelda games are simply doing their best to recover from a bunch of face transplants or something. But the research team behind this study claims they observed for the first time active wound treatment with a known biologically active plant substance by a male Sumatran orangutan in the wild. And their hypothesis suggests this may have been a form of self-medication to possibly prevent infection and accelerate wound healing. Humans show active wound treatment and we also know that uh, chimpanzees show wound treatment, the example of the chimpanzees in Gabon, and also now Asian great apes, so a wild Sumatran orangutan showed um, wound treatment. Therefore, it's possible that there exists like a common underlying mechanism for the recognition and also application of substances with medical or functional properties to wounds. And it's also possible that our last common ancestor already showed similar ointment behavior. Yeah, kind of like your mom kissing your knee after you take a tumble on your rollerblades. This could be something of an innate instinct here. So it's possible that the behavior is actually shown in his birth population and he might have learned it from his mother or another orangutan. And we know that orangutans do social learning, so they show Peering, which is um, close distance observation of another. So they sometimes come close 10 to 20 centimeters, watching another, for example, processing and opening a fruit in order probably to learn the mechanism how to do it. This is a single observation. So they saw one orangutan have this behavior, right? So on its own, if this was the only report on, on anything related to medication, you would say, well, we need more evidence. That's a biologist with Emory University who had nothing to do with this study, but nevertheless spoke with the Associated Press. But I think there's a few key things here that really make me convinced that it is a form of animal self-medication. And one of them is, as, as we said before, that orangutan really specifically applied the, 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 the mixture that it made to the wound, no other body parts. It's very directed in what it was doing. Researchers plan to keep observing wounded orangutans to see if this behavior continues. As it may suggest the concept of wound treatment might have originated in a common ancestor of both humans and orangutans. Though perhaps this all raises another interesting question. Do leaves ever apply faces to themselves? This Etsy artist aside, let's hope not.